Hi, I'm Oliver Roman. These are techniques I use every day in professional studios that you'll be able to use at home. Let's jump into it. Let's talk about the overhead microphones. These mics are going to pick up the ambient sound of the room in the rest of your kit. The C414 XLS and the C414 XL2 offer nine pickup patterns that enable you to choose the perfect setting for every application. Both mics have three switchable bass cut filters as well as three pre-attenuation levels. The unrivaled upfront sound is also well known for distant miking applications like classical music recording or drum ambience miking. Today, we're gonna to utilize the classic Glenn Johns miking technique. It takes one 414 directly above the snare and a second 414 off to the right of the drum kit so they pick up two sides of the drum kit. I'm basically trying to get it directly over the snare drum. I just basically wanna capture this side of the drum kit with this tom as well as the hi-hat. Grab my second 414, also facing directly towards the snare and the hi-hat over there. And it's also, by way, going to pick up this floor tom, a bit of this crash, although crashes and cymbals are pretty loud. And then we're going to check phase. So we wanna measure the distance to each of the microphones from the center of the snare drum to ensure phase relationship, more clarity, more low end. I'm gonna have you hold this cable in the center of the drum. Just basically like there. All right, so that's good. And then I basically wanna get this one in the same spot. Now we're gonna mic up the snare drum. The C451B is an excellent option. Depending on the type of music you're recording, this is a super versatile mic that you can leverage for each of the components of your drum kit. It uses the legendary capsule design from 1969 with impressive dB range up to 155 SPL. The C451B also contains a high pass filter to prevent low end distortion. And I'm just aiming it at the center of the snare drum. Gonna get a little angle on it right at the edge of the snare drum right here. So I'm picking up a little bit of the shell, a little bit of the attack hitting the middle, and then my hi-hat will be in the knoll of the microphone, the back of it, so I get less hi-hat. All right, let's take a quick look at miking a kick drum. For miking the kick drum, the AKG D112 is a workhorse. It has high SPL capability with no additional EQ required. It can handle more than 160 dB SPL without distortion. It also has a large diaphragm that has very low resonance frequency, so it delivers a really powerful punch below 100 Hz. It also includes an integrated hum compensation coil that keeps noise to a minimum. So the closer you get to the beater, the more attack you get from the drum. So if you want something really attacky, you can go in tight like that but I kind of want the low end to develop a little bit, and I want a full picture of the kick drum instead of just the attack of it. So I'm gonna point it at the beater, still get that attack, but having the low end develop in the kick drum, so I'm right kind of at the edge of this. And I would probably do something similar if the resonant head was on as well. I'd go in wherever I could and kind of get it as close to that resonant head as possible. I hope you found these techniques useful. Now go get some great drum sounds. Like, share, and subscribe for more AKG microphone tips.